everyone, welcome back to my channel. Oh, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to play some more po- uh, Soul Hackers 2. So I'm not- Like, I was going to say Pokemon Heart Gold. <laughs> I'm looking at Soul Hackers 2. <laughs> okay, now, um, let's see. And yes, I'm making this while I'm doing the Heart Gold. If I'm making our video series, then yeah. Um, so let me go and do Axis and go to the Soul Matrix. We are going to just do a sh very short video today, probably. The Valve's doing... To his um soul matrix, getting that um Eliza thing to technically have to get to the but the mannequin guy, but I want I would want to keep it with the guy that that's his grandmother's. <laughs> I'm missing there a demon awakes beyond this gate. Are you ready to lock the gate and proceed? Proceed. Oh, we're gonna win it. <clears throat> we'll take them down at this power. Let's see them withstand this. What's our open? Here I come. Charge. Go time. Let's spice things up. You can't stop me. Too late for their death. Foolish to resist. Bow to me. We're all the Let's roll. Try and block You know the drill. Let's go with that. Don't be a hero. How about this? Oh, we are a hero. <laughs> There's nothing to block it. You know what to do. Here goes. Wish this one was gonna hurt. Okay. We gotta win this. Right. No matter what. Huh? Is that it? Got it. Okay. So what do we attack you if you're his demon? That's not a good idea. Not a very nice man. That's enough. Nice footwork there. You've improved. You can do better. 
Wait, I'm not done yet. Come on, Raven. One more round. You're really dedicated to this, huh? You look like you're ready to pass out. Too. Of course. I have to be. If I'm ever gonna be a summoner like you. <laughs> I can't imagine higher praise than that. Makes me glad to be a summoner myself. But no. I think we'll call it here for today. There's something I want to talk to you about. Talk? Your uh. spiritual control has gotten a lot more consistent. I can tell you built up your stamina too. You handle your demons like a pro. But most importantly, I want you to understand this. You've got a good heart. That's the most crucial thing a summoner can have. If I had to guess, you'd take your strength of will from that promise, right? Yeah. I see. Well, Arrow, if I were you, I'd keep an eye out for word from Yadagarasa. Paperwork for official appointments can take a while, but it'll get here eventually. What? You mean... Yep. You're licensed. Now you're officially an agent of Yadagarasa. I'm... an agent? <sighs> Congratulations, Arrow. I know how hard you've worked to reach this point. <clears throat> I'd never have gotten this far if we hadn't promised each other we'd be heroes. I know, Kabaragi. You're out there too, fighting your own battles. So how? Uh, so how is he the one, only one that became one in their orphanage when he met Kagurei when he was young? And just leave. And then decide to go for the opposite team. I saw a familiar face in there. It wasn't long after I met Kabaragi that I awakened to my potential as a summoner. That's when a Yadagarasu scout saw my powers. They had me transferred to Komodori. And at Komodori, is where I met Raven. Oh, so I got treasure to the orphanage. I spent my teen years there, and when I graduated, <laughs> I found out about Devil Summoners, and that Raven was one of the best. I knew I wanted to be a hero, but when I saw how he fought to make the world a better place, I realized he was the kind of hero I wanted to be. So, I set my sights on training to be a Devil Summoner, hoping one day I'd match up to Raven. And you figured that's how you fulfill your promise to Kabaragi. Yeah, he'd done the same thing. I met up with him again when I infiltrated the Phantom Society. We had this long talk about how our lives had gone after I left the city orphanage. How'd he do? It wasn't all that different from my situation. After I got transferred to Komodori, he awakened his abilities too. And one of Phantom's agents picked him up. So the only reason you two ended up on opposite sides was just a twist of fate. If Kabaragi had awakened his power first, he would have been one it worked. Or if the Phantom Society had found me at the orphanage before Yadagarasu stepped in, then things might have been completely different. Maybe it wouldn't have turned out like this. Well, that's a hypothetical. Ion doesn't really think in hypotheticals. Or, well, they didn't before. Ion doesn't exactly have a concept of time. All they see is cause and effect. And what humans perceive as linear time is just a long sequence of that. Um, there's multiple choices. So a different choice can make a different universe. So in a different universe, he became a fantasy author and Kagare went and became Yagrasta. But now, I understand the difference between past, present, and future, so I think I get what you're thinking. It's what ifs, right? If I had done one thing different, how would my life have changed? No, let's find out when the universe. Then I'm guessing you also know why there's no point agonizing over the past. Well, yeah. But even if you know worrying is pointless, you're still gonna do it. Hey, Ringo. Do you... I think I made the wrong choice. No. I think that's up to you, Arrow. 
You're the only one who can decide what wrong means. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. Maybe I got too stuck in my own head. No, it would have been your choice anyway. It would have been great on this part. Because that's how it played out. And even more played by Yagurasa to think on their ways. Okay, which one? Given distance, enemies appear more often. No. When an enemy is slain, one demon joins the stack. I'll take that right there. Hey, Arrow, did you. How did it feel to die? I'm kinda curious about your perspective since. You actually came back from it. Hmm. It's definitely weird. It was dark. I was alone. I didn't know where I was, but I was okay with it. I felt peaceful, comfortable. Like I s could stay there forever. Hey! I just- uh, AJ Alan, do you think- What do you think will happen when I die? I wonder if there's anything beyond death for someone like me. No point re uh, overthinking it now. You know when the time comes. But until then, you could focus your energy on living. Okay, we got our fusion. Okay, seal, seal tightly. Few things there are things I want to do. Let's go to the bar real quick. You hide out that and lady. Nobody. And it's fast forward. I'm sorry, I just don't cannot do now I have to do Millie and, and um sizos so I can get their um demons Let me check real quick. <clears throat> I should do hers too, but... Do this real quick. And I have to get like all the quests done just like so see if I can get their hideout vents. So I guess really? the hideout vents, but the vents. Hey now, vents. Oh, you found it alright? That's amazing. <laughs> this is right. Thank goodness. My grandma went and find out after all. Kind of screwed up three years ago and misspoke and things blew up. That's why I haven't been getting many jobs lately. I haven't been in many movies either. And me and my family is awkward now. My grandma would be disappointed if I lost a bunch on top of all that. I owe you. Now, I still... Uh, Still safe face. Now this is your if you again. I'm not going to stop here. I'm gonna become a good a good tuber, <laughs> or do whatever it takes to make, uh, to make a comeback. <laughs> they perform some, some uh, perform something amazing that even you hear about it. I hope you look forward to it. 
Well, what is it? You forgot something? Mention me the milk one. Yes. I hate him. Told me I was going to be collecting and searches from Isla. I get you. Well, he likes Eliza that much, huh? Huh, <laughs> ah, well, that makes me happy. Eliza was the movie that inspired me to pursue acting, after all. Still, I don't know if I can just hand this over. Alright, in case, I'll talk to him myself. Hey. I decide whenever or not he can have it, plus he sounds like quite the character. He told Ed the location of the store. Don't give it to him. Back, get all the stuff for, uh, from the movie. <laughs> from him. Steal it. <laughs> okay. Let's go to him now. Welcome. Talk. Hey there. Oh, hey, it was you, right? You're the reason that guy Ed stopped by. Yeah, he stayed and stayed and talked for a bit. Most about Eliza. Hmm. I was, I had heard of him. He's the grandson of a super cute lead in the movie. Hmm. But Chanish's Eliza's name like that, I admit I had a little interest in talking to him at first. But... You said one day he'll make me and make a comeback, some way, somehow. Hmm. What well, a strange man. All that criticism, he still wants to keep going. It'll be much easier to just put, stay put and avoid any trouble for disappointment. Seriously odd. But yeah, I don't... I didn't take the brooch. It seems more appropriate to leave it with him. Okay. Now I like you. Thanks. It was fun talking to him. Though, I'll... Pay you anyway. Thank you kindly, dear customer. I just thought I had cut anything and everything that wasn't cute out of my life for good. But it turns out I missed certain things. <laughs> Either way, it doesn't change the fact that I'm still the cutest there is. Uh, don't push it. Oh, bye. There's a new hideout. Is it? And that is why I do that at the quest. Okay, I like him somewhat now. I like I like to Ed. He was actually nice to Ed. Welcome. Welcome. What is it today? Got him. Means I'm all done with the quest and I have to go back and see if there's any more. <clears throat> I do like trying to get. Please come in. Your quest has been added. And their delivery from Aunt Ina. She wanted to ask for you specifically. Ying Yang. Okay, finally. Humbly Thank you. I'll hand over when you can. This is a request, this is a quest from Psyche. I believe you supported a Gruta's bounty hunting assignment from hers. This time, she specially requested your help in eliminating a CERN Dark Summer. You must have made quite a portion. She's addressing your request specifically to you. It seems like she trusts you a great deal. I can only imagine this job requires a certain level of completeness. Happiness. We have uh, someone she can rely upon. Remember not to let your guard down 
As before, the client should be waiting for you and uh, uh, Shin's Sando. Do you understand? The client this time is a summer Kyoto. Uh, he had another request recently regarding some sort of voice. Once again, the job requires a certain distance and knowing of demons. Please make it your way to Roma well. Do you have an I bid you good luck. So, which one do I do? First. I'll do uh, hers real quick. Let's go through them real quick. Okay, so... You're always so cute! Oh, thank you. How are we here? What do I do? Oh, so, so busy. <laughs> Speak of the devil, someone cute will can come to answer the call. What happened to you? You came, Ringo. I'll have to catch up. Let's first get down to visit, shall we? I got more delivery for you, but there's quite a few orders this time around. I like it over a couple of them. It's these right here. Save Sword of Light and Blade of Ruin. Subway line 14, lane upper area, and there is in the lower area. Oh yeah, a word of warning. <laughs> Don't say anything more than necessary to the customers, alright? Appreciate your patronage. <clears throat> Okay, so let me see... Do this one real quick. Path. Yo. Hey, I heard, I heard about you from I. Uh, so, where is the boy of ruin? Hand over the boy of ruin. <laughs> this is it. He lands always good for us kind of stuff. It's just breathtaking. You can hear it too, right? The blade's crying out for blood. Thanks, dude. That high end mighty angel asks Well no what him. I can't wait. <sighs> K. 
Okay, so the next one will be... familiar oh. oh I've been waiting here to do the sword of holy right correct and it was sort of a holy light apparently you bring this to me is very difficult for us to be out in the city the quick oh, grimmer the sword alone just like the glance is enough to cleanse the soul at least I will finally put an end to the my quarrel with that wretched devil <laughs> Uh, but before that, I must pray to the Lord. You can wait the delivery. Report back to Leah. <coughs> so, why are we doing Devil's Advocate right here? They're both clearly going after each other. Good morning. Looks like uh, good job. Looks like you followed the horse too. How about uh, how do I know? Well, you haven't. You won't be back this early if you had it. Are you sure it's okay? Oh, of course it's okay. The customers get what they want, and I get paid. Everyone wins. I don't see a problem, do you? Besides, there's no way those two don't know. Hmm. They might pretend they don't. But they both are pretty good at it. keeping a lid on things they don't want to deal with. The sun will always come up, and it will always go down, you know. That's, business. That's how the world works. Hope you learn something with, the, with all this thing, though. See you. Hey then, I'm asking for you again if I hear anything more. So keep an eye open. Keep an ear open. New hideout uh, event unlocked. So let's go get that hideout event real quick. <laughs> New gate for size has been locked. <sighs> huh? Do you come here? Come after? Oh, thanks for helping me so out so much. This job is going to feel pretty similar. Do you know the first time we talked to, on a dark summer who's gone rogue? That one way, her name's Rose. Murring our summer's slumbering supplements, she left a long bloody trail behind her. Also, she's my older sister. So that there's that. Well, there you have it. Think you can uh, take her out? It's up to you. There's a summer named Wall over in my salon. He can tell you where to find her. Don't 
there was some, yeah, at least I heard an alarm. Uh, yeah, I. You. Summer's always been talking about. Okay. Not that. Oh, Miss, I suppose you're the hot, be the hot shot that psyche has been talking about. I have to say, she must be a, a hell of a summer after all she's said about it. You can do. Sounds like you, uh, her ace in the hole. In any case, <coughs> let's get down business. You look for Rose, right? Yeah, I was shocked when I found out too. Rose and psyche are sisters. They. Used to be dealt with her in the same summer as Bratchen. I worked with a couple of times myself. Still, I can't believe she turned traitor. But then, when I ran into Rose for a totally different job, she nearly killed me. Then hey. again, I guess sh I shouldn't be surprised. Summers get addicted to their power. Is nothing new. Happens all the time. Maybe the two sisters don't even get along that, that well. Maybe it was just all the assumption on my part. There's no way to tell what she's really thinking. She and Saki seemed so close, though. This was got to be hard on her, but she, we just can't let her go. Someone got to close the books on this story. Ah, oh, sorry, caught them early. I'm sorry, I guess. I was looking for info on it. Rose's whereabouts. I ran into her on the upper floor of the Bannon Central Line. When I figure it, that's where she'll be. A central line. Okay, let's go. Get ready. Now I can relax. There she is. What? Who are you? Go away. I have no business with you. Are you Rose? Hm. Hm, uh, now I see what's going on. Saki's still trying to get other summers to do her dirty work. <laughs> yeah, all right. I see how it is. She's just a coward after all. Oh, Psyche. Always one step ahead of me. Always so perfect. I was jealous of her. Of everything she had. Everything she, she could do. I just couldn't tell her how many times I dreamed of murdering her. And that's when I realized it. Why bar trying to fight this hate? Why fight it when it could make me stronger which is, than she'll ever be? Now I got real power. I could change the entire world and suit me if I wanted to. Nobody will ever look down on me again. And now, not even Saki can stand up to me and fall in there and there. She doesn't want to fight you. Hmm. Huh. That's exactly why, she, why she's weak. But you have a point. I'm not much of a victory if I can't choke the life out of her with my own hands. <laughs> Say. That gives me a great idea. I'm gonna kill you. If then she sends someone else, I'll kill them next. <laughs> she can't hide behind her mistress forever. Psyche's gonna show up eventually, right? And then I'll finally check, rip her apart. Come forth. What's well? Let's go. If Psyche doesn't hasn't gotten the mistress, then I'll send her your head in a box. We can't afford to lose. Fine, I'll get serious. Try and block this. They're down. What do you think? I'll handle this. Don't know till you try. How dare you? <coughs> I 
know we I'm not your babysitter. Damn! Damn you! You know the drill. I'll try and do Don't be a hero. Let's see them withstand this! How dare you! Out of my way! Got her! One hit. I mean, well, well you know, I mean. The dead deed is done. You should report back to Psychic. Oh, so it's really is over. So, sorry for rubbing you in to such an ugly job. It should have been me. I should have been the one to bring her down. But I, I couldn't bring myself to do it. I, I know she lost herself to that power. I know she, she wasn't who she used to be, but still. Never one can be strong. Huh, you of all people are you gonna tell me that? Still, I guess hearing that makes me feel a little better, somehow. You remember the, what I said before, after the rock contact? That was the no point trying to understand what someone who lacked willpower. Well, I think I was wrong. Maybe the Instant of Yours has the power to save people after all, like it did for me. Thanks so much. Thanks. For what it's worth, I'm glad you were the one I trusted for this. See you, Ringo. <laughs> you had an event? What? Welcome. I have one more and I could get her full fifty. Oh, you're the way from the last time. Good. I hear I need your help again. I found the location of my parents by following the map we got. Believe it or not, it brought me to another lock box, and it this time there's five, four questions keeping me out. Basically. So if you want to get open, we have to pass this quiz. It's on you. Same rules as last time. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah. All right. All set? Let's do this. One question, what is the name of the demon who's said to Zeus man and born from the demon Lilith? Liam. Question two. Nizo Taizi is a Chinese heart of God in the form of young boy. Whom did he fight? Son Wuku. Oh, uh, son 
Wukong, or uh, technically in Japanese, it's Son Goku, because that's what Goku is based off of. Next question, Master Lu Man Shun was supposed to be a girl who never knew of. What's your best no known to drain from her victims? Rains. <laughs> question A, what is the next thing in the Great God Diamonds look associated with? Drink, fear, and madness. Take away madness. Drink of fear. Take away madness. All right, I'm gonna put it in. Put in the answers. <laughs> it's open, awesome. Oh, it's another Mac. How did my dad have to make this so complicated? <sighs> He's always been like this. Honestly, I used to think he was a shitty father, but now that he has gone, I guess I have to have found memories of him. I'm gonna see this through to the end. Here. Yeah, here, here's your ward. See ya. You're hoping the hearing isn't too long, far off. Talk. Updating definition. What well, humans call love seems like carrying meaning beyond the ratio of expression. Okay. I guess now I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna heal real quick. I'm going to save it in here for today. If you like my content, please subscribe, like the video, help a lot, and comment down below.